Uh, I'm Steve Kelly. I'm the year three uh, class teacher at Cannon Park Primary School. My first thoughts were that it was um, a lot of a lot of potential in it, and um, as I've got to use it more, I've used it more and more successfully, as I feel. But a case of just having a go to start with. Well, what's been really good is that we can go and um, recap units which we've taught sort of traditionally in the classroom and consolidate that learning. But with the sort of scoreboard that it comes up with in the um, main part of the programme, you can see specifically children where their areas of difficulty are and you can really home on individual children or specific groups of children and, and um, focus on those areas of misunderstanding. So I've started using um, learning by questions on our Chromebooks at school. Um, I'm doing that twice a week in our sort of morning registration period from about 8.45 to, to 9.15 so the children come in, um, sign into the Chromebooks and, and log into learning by questions. Um, and we tend to sort of focus on the, the, the learning that we did a, a day or two before. Um, for instance, we've done fractions recently, so we've been looking at um, tenths. And um, they have the, the big scoreboard on the, on the whiteboard at the front of the class. And um, the children's working working way through it. And I can see the ones that are really doing well with lots of green uh, going across the scoreboard. And then um, it's very obvious where we might have several children with the reds and uh, we can sort of bring the, that question they're struggling with up on the, the main class board and talk them through that. Or, or we can go over to them if it's just an individual child and, and work directly with them on their Chromebook. So that's it's really, really um, quick way of spotting sort of misunderstandings on the, on the particular concept that we're teaching. Learning by question gives us sort of instant access to, to a whole range of, um, we were using it primarily for maths at the moment, but I, I have in the, in the lockdown as well used it for um, reading, uh, science and grammar, issue, uh, grammar topics as well. So it gives a whole repertoire of, uh, of available resources which is just ready to go and fit in so lovely, so nicely with our, our curriculum. Well, it, it dramatically reduces it. The, there is no sort of books to mark or go through and it automatically does that for you. So in, in that regard, the marking is, is fantastic because it's, it's hugely time-saving and uh, gives you instant sort of assessment of, of where the children are at with their learning. So learning by questions has really been helpful um, after the lockdown because we, we weren't sure how involved certain children were with their, their learning uh, while, whilst they were at home. And it, we were able to sort of review the, the, the topics which we covered, for instance, addition, subtraction, multiplication, number. And that's really through the, those sort of assessments and, uh, and the, the scoreboard system it allows us to um, pinpoint particular children and give them further support. We do sort of a keep up catch up session in the afternoon on that particular topic if need be, or a full lesson if, if required with the whole class. Learning by questions is really um, flexible and we can, uh, it starts off with fluency and then gets progressively more challenging um, through the sort of 20 or 30 questions which it poses. So I'm teaching year three and broadly speaking, the vast majority of the children can access or all the children can access those first few questions. And then the more able ones can sort of um, zoom off ahead on the, on the more challenging questions and then the ones who are finding it more difficult we can perhaps work as a little group uh, and, uh, and give them some further support. But also you can sort of preload on um, two or three lessons at the same time. So I have a particularly able mathematician in my class who's uh, in year three but really is working at a year five or six level so I can go into the year five or six categories and, and select sort of more appropriate work for him to work on individually. Learning by questions allows the children to see the, the questions of maths or geography or science in, in a different format that you could present in a, in a traditional uh, classroom-based lesson um, uh, with different pictures, the option to sort of annotate and, and do your working out on the, on the question. Um, so it's a really fantastic and modern resource to be able to use, which the children really, really um, buy into and enjoy using come in and say oh we're learning by questions and they're into it straight away. The children absolutely love learning by questions when, when they see the Chromebooks out on a Tuesday and Thursday morning they're in straight away no first thing they're logged in straight away and, and it's a bit of a competition to see who can be the first to, to sign in and get started. Learning by questions is a fantastic addition to our sort of traditional repertoire of, of teaching and really moving it on to a 21st century a, approach to do it. Um, not that we've used it yet, but I can see it being a huge option for, for homework in the future uh, and sort of further stretch and challenge for the more able, but also offering support for our, our, our lower ability children as well. 
think it'd be a crying shame to lose to lose learning by questions, but it's a real positive addition to our uh, our range of options as a, as a class teacher. So it'd be a, a big loss to to us. The more I've used it, the the more I see the benefit of it. Uh, initially, I was a little bit skeptical, and I thought I was whizzy and, and all things like that. But the more you use it, the more you see the the real true potential of it. And the benefits are, have been huge, and the confidence that the children have gained in there. I've used it primarily for maths, but um, the confidence they've gained very quickly with it has been has been huge. So learning by questions has brought to me as a teacher a real high quality resource, which is tied very closely to the curriculum which we're following at school. And I know that you know, should there be the day where, for whatever reason, I'm pushed for time, it's a it's a surefire hit to be able to to go. Oh, I know, we'll do some learning by questions uh, to sort. Of, to, to cover the lesson, as I speak. Yeah, so Learning by Questions is an instant access uh, resource, which is a really, really high quality. And uh, the, the marking is zero, but it gives you sort of instant assessment opportunities. Um, and the product is a very, very high quality, which fits in with the, the work we're trying to do in a more traditional way um, the rest of the time. I would encourage somebody um, who's considering Learning by Questions to really give it a go. It's been a fantastic new resource uh, and it's been hugely valuable over the last uh, 12 months at Cannon Park Primary School. We really, really have benefited from it hugely.